Welcome back to the Aussie Shed, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Project Fair Lady. I'm about to start fabricating some sort of a mount on the front of the car to mount a tow hook, just like we've done previously on the rear of the car. So ideally what we've got to do is work out some way to attach to the front chassis rail. Probably going to be this side, I reckon. So realistically what I've got to do is take the front bumper bar off again, remove some of the aluminium shrouding that I built previously, and uh, just work out you know, what the best location for it is on the chassis and also try to coincide with what the best location is to have it protruding through on the bar, which basically there'll just be a hole in the bar. Obviously the tow hook isn't going to stay in situ while the car's on the road, uh, but we do need some way to tow the car from the front. If it ever breaks down or something happens to it, I don't want to be stuck on the side of the road, have a tow truck turn up and go, I don't know how to hook anything up to it. And have the tow truck guy, you know, try to put a chain around one of the suspension arms or something. It's just not going to happen. Got to have tow hooks front and rear. So, I'll start stripping all this off. And we'll have a bit of a look at uh, what we have to deal with. And there we have it. The bar is off. Now, let's go around a little bit over here. And I'll show you the positions that I've got. Sorry guys, it's always very cramped here in front of the fair lady in the shed just because we're right up against the workbench. So these two positions here, they're kind of two positions that I would prefer that I can um, bring the tow hook mount through to because they correspond with two areas in the front bar that I can use to sort of conceal uh, where it is and at least make it kind of neat. So I've no idea what's behind there at the moment. I think I'm somewhere near the uh, the front chassis just because the mounting points for this uh, this crash bar, or it's not really a crash bar, it's more a bar sort of a stiffener, being that it's some sort of a fiberglass reinforced plastic and um, it's not really going to do much in the event of, a, of an impact other than, you know, someone bumping into it very, very lightly. Um, yeah, the, the, there's a couple of mounts in there for that, so I've, I've got to be in the right place as you'd imagine being sort of here. So we'll get these few plates off and we'll see exactly what we've got and what we can kind of come up with um, that's gonna do the job. All right, I'll get these plates off. And as always, I'll be back. Right, so I think I've just about got it nutted out, guys. The tow hook really needs to be somewhere about here, but it needs to be quite forward. It needs to be, you know, around about kind of there. Right, so what I plan on doing is I'm going to put some 6mm steel plate there and bolt it through these bolt holes and up underneath and maybe even slip a few more in there so it'll be a bit of a bolt-on affair. Now to get this out further, I've found some spaces in amongst all my stuff. No idea what they're from, or but they're quite a heavy wall, um, zinc plated spacer they're really perfect the length is pretty spot on i'd really ideally like them to be a little bit longer i think at this stage but i can probably make do with um, the length that they are or i could possibly cut a piece off one and extend it onto another one but the problem is that needs to slide inside of there to then weld onto this nut so what i've done is i put one on the mini lathe and I turned all of the uh, all of the plating off it, so it'll be easy to weld. Put a bevel on each end, so that gives me something to weld into. And um, I've machined a section out of here, so that the remaining thread on this slides down into there. So then what I'm gonna do is weld that together there. And as I say, have a piece of uh, some sort of six mil plate on here and weld this on somewhere there. I'm really not sure about this exact position. I'll, I'll get that more sorted out as I go along and then put some gussets, you know, run them back down onto this and uh, have bolt holes and bolts and everything like that onto there. And then just have a hole drilled through the front bar and um, that should allow it to just sort of go in really easily, you know. Anyway, that's where I am with it at this stage, folks. I just thought I'd show you that before I go too much further. I don't have any suitable plate for this, but what I do have is a bit of gal. So what I'm going to do is, once I get the size actually properly sorted out, 
I'll cut this out of this this galvanized um, plate here, and um, and then I'll just drop it in some acid to uh, get rid of all the galvanizing off it, so that I can weld it, and it should be pretty sweet then. So um, I'll get a little bit more sorted out on this, guys. In particular, I'll uh, I'll get this done so that this is uh, sort of welded together and all that sort of stuff, and then I'll probably. Once I weld these two together, I'll probably put it back on the lathe and turn all the hex off that nut and just make it look sort of pretty fancy. So um, this is where I'm up to, folks. I'll get a little bit more done and we'll have a look at how it's going. So that's our bracket just about right. Ready for um, de-galvanizing in a bit of acid. And we can start sticking some pieces to it. There's our, our piece that, that I've made uh, that had the nut on it. Uh, you know, it was basically this setup here. Um, it turned out, you know, pretty good. It is what it is. Um, and when I did that, um, as I mentioned, I, I ground quite a big bevel on this to get right down. And uh, when I did the work with the TIG, I did a root pass initially. Uh, right down in the bottom of, uh, of where it was beveled and got that pretty good um, and then I did a, another fill pass over the top of that with some uh, a lot thicker filler wire and everything and built it right up so it was uh, it was actually built up to this flat section on the nut and then brought quite back like there's quite a big bead of weld there and then I just turned it off on the lathe and um, most of the weld is actually still there you can't really tell just because um, uh, this will probably help you see that all of this lower section is uh, is weld, you know. And as I say, it goes right down to the root where they join. So I'm quite confident that there's um, not going to be issues with that uh, breaking off. Not really ideally what you want to do, have something welded on the end. Be good to, you know, have this threaded section that you're attaching to behind something. You know, but, but it's it's absolutely fine. I really don't have any issues with this. There's no way that's ever going to sort of come off. It is it is a very solid weld. Um, all right, guys. So, so let's get this over to the acid eh, and see how it turns out. So this is just a plastic bucket, guys, with another bucket inside it that's got all holes drilled through it. I haven't had the lid off this for probably 12 months, I reckon. I'm quite curious to see what it looks like inside. Very, very careful. So generally I use this for cleaning up uh, bolts and things when I'm plating. It, um, it works really, really well. Get this lid off without flicking any acid anywhere. Come on, baby, come off. There we go. Ugh. Alrighty. There we go. That's what that is. Here we go. See, she's uh, foaming up straight away. We'll leave that in there for a few minutes and uh, see what happens. I reckon that's just about it, guys. See there, we'll rinse it off in this bucket of water I've got here and we'll uh, see what it looks like. And there it is, that looks pretty reasonable guys, um, I'll just give it a bit of a clean up on the wire wheel just to make sure there's no uh, 
no gal or zinc or anything left on it, but uh, it looks pretty good to me. Alrighty, let's get this cleaned up and um, start setting it up for welding. Comparison shot guys Beautiful and clean straight off the wire wheel and there's your gal piece And that was only about five minutes in the acid and uh, it's all gone way quicker and easier than mechanically stripping the gal off um, Plus you're not you know, you don't have all that bloody dust around everywhere and all that sort of stuff Yeah, you got to be a little bit careful with the acid, but as long as you're not stupid You'll be fine Beautiful. A little bit of an update, guys. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with it at the moment, you know. It's, um, it is, it is getting there. It is getting there. It uh, takes quite a lot of fiddling around, particularly tacking this. There was a lot of, you know, tacking and grinding tacks and, you know, tap it slightly one way just to get the alignment absolutely perfect with the hole that I've drilled through the bar to um, get the thing where I kind of wanted it. Um, plenty of attachment here you can see I've got two I've got two bolts in shear and then two that are in tension. I'm not too wrapped about those but I'll possibly get another one in as well somewhere but um, overall, it's 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 pretty good. It's it's not too bad at all. Um, obviously, when it goes in, that's how your tail hook goes in with it there. So you can see by the length of this, there's a lot of leverage against this point here down the bottom. So that is going to have some gussets welded onto it. You know, sort of like that sort of thing here and there on it so it's going to be uh, gusseted somehow I'll work that out once I kind of get it in position uh, I don't know whether they'll be that tall or, or sort of whatever um, this weld around the bottom here it's, it's really just kind of a root pass to get like right in and, and get really good penetration into that corner in there when I set up these gussets I will weld you know along both sides of the gussets and I'll also weld back over that to get a little bit more weld depth uh, in those internal corners but really once the gussets are in um, it'll be you know it'll be absolutely fine so I might just bolt this up and uh, and show you where it goes eh that's it up in there guys you can just kind of make it out and um, that's our hole right there and obviously our tow hook just screws straight into that like so very very nice very very nice indeed all right, I'll get all this off and um, I'll start setting this up for those gussets and working out how we're going to finish off with the uh, aluminium panels underneath there. Well, there it is. I've just finished welding in all of the gussets on it. And I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. Not, uh, not too bad at all. So now that that's done, I can uh, put it in place and... Um, so what adjustments I have to make to the uh, aluminium panelling in that area, which I have actually laid this out so it works the best way possible with uh, the aluminium sheet work in there. So we'll, uh, we'll get this bolted up and um, I'll have a bit, little bit of a chop of the aluminium sheet work. There it is guys. I think that's looking pretty damn good. So 
So, so far, I think that's turned out pretty reasonable, guys. You can see, you know, where I've cut out these uh, these aluminium panels to uh, to get that sort of through, and I've got a bit of a slot there. There's no other slots in it for the gussets, just that one. Um, I'll put a bit of rubber piping around there when it's kind of finished, but for now, I think I'll pull this all apart. I'll throw some paint on that, and then uh, we'll put the front bar back on and just make sure that nothing's moved during the welding process, which is always a concern because... You know, a lot of times things do move in the welding process. So uh, get this apart, throw some paint on it, and we'll be all bloody good. Okay, she's all painted now, guys. It uh, you know, turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I've just made uh, one final adjustment to it. I've um, trimmed the thing down wherever I could. So uh, where are we? I think this came down to a corner down here. So I've just cut it across there. I think the angle on this kind of came down and stepped. So I've just taken that back off and just trimmed it a lot closer to these uh, these bolt holes and stuff just to remove any excess material that we honestly don't need on the thing. So um, that's pretty much done now, guys. I'll just bolt this back up, bolt the bar up and um, make sure it still fits. It appears to bolt up okay. So, so far, so good. All right, so uh, amazingly, guys, it went back together perfectly. That's it looking in through the, the lower grill there. You can see it uh, sort of sitting in its position. That's our uh, outside bit there. Again, looking real good. You can see that it is actually very even around the hole here. The, um, the gap is just, it's perfectly even all the way around. So that's really good. That worked out absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy that, uh, nothing moved during the welding process. I did take a lot of time and a lot of care as you'd imagine to make sure that happened and uh, It looks like it's paid off Very very happy indeed So really the only thing left with that now is to make up a, a cap or a grommet or something to um, To fit over the hole when the tow hooks not in place I'm thinking about maybe machining something up out of aluminium some sort of a removable plug that will be painted to match the paintwork on the bar or some sort of a plastic plug that'll be painted that'll be easy enough to get in and out or on and off uh, when the uh, when the tow hook uh, comes in and out or on and off <laughs> in and out on and off bloody hell I'm going crazy that's about all we've got time for today folks here on uh, Project Fair Lady I hope you like how it's going I hope you like the the front tow hook receiver how it all sort of turned out with all the fabrication and all that sort of stuff uh, something that I think is going to be really, really handy with the vehicle, particularly in the upcoming stages. It will probably need to be on and off tow trucks a bit with paint and uh, tuning, etc, etc. It'll just be very handy to have a really easy way to hook it up, either front or rear, to pull it up onto a tilt tray, you know. So as always, folks, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. And uh, as always, folks, um, I'll bloody well see you on the next one. Cheers.